The Amazon rainforest is home to the largest and heaviest snake species in the world, the green anaconda. However, what was thought to be one, we now know to be two species. And we had an unexpected help from actor Will Smith and a team of researchers for this discovery. The University of Queensland team, along with actor Will Smith, traveled to the Ecuadorian Amazon in search of the northern green anaconda, whose scientific name is Eunectacayima, previously undocumented, following an invitation from the local Warani people to observe these potential world's largest anacondas. Green anacondas are the heaviest snakes in the world, according to the UK's Natural History Museum, which noted that the heaviest individual ever recorded weighed 227 kilograms distributed over its 8.43 meters in length and 1.11 meters in width. Although another species, the reticulated python, may be longer, often reaching over 6.25 meters in length, it is lighter. The team joined hunters on a 10-day expedition to the Bamino region in the Baihwari Warani territory, before paddling through the river system to find several anacondas in shallow waters awaiting prey. The team traveled to the location with the actor to film a documentary to be aired on the National Geographic channel and upon analyzing the specimens of male and female anacondas. It would initially be very possible to think that they were different animals, but we managed to make it clear that they were more than the same animal, the male and female specimens were of the same species. Anacondas are giant, non-venomous constrictor snakes found in or near water in warm parts of South America. These legendary animals grow beyond 5 meters in length, and there are unverified stories of much larger specimens, but the fact is that they were all females. Males are half the length and slimmer. And to the surprise of absolutely no one, the two sexes have quite different diets. While females feed on herbivores like deer and capybaras, males feed mainly on unsuspecting aquatic birds. Their predators are basically the degradation of the habitat where they live. These animals suffer not only from direct habitat damage, but also from impacts on the habitat of their prey base, reducing food availability and consequently, their ability to develop. Before continuing, I will ask you not to forget to give a like. It may seem like it doesn't, but your like makes a big difference to the channel and enables its continuity, as well as enabling the development of more videos, also improving their quality. So, give a like, comment, and subscribe. But going back, in a sampling process of anacondas, researchers noticed that Ecuadorian green anacondas are larger than those in Brazil. Specimens of up to 6.3 meters were found, very close to the official record of the largest anaconda ever recorded. During the expedition, an anaconda tried to satisfy its hunger by biting one of the researchers and trying to drag him into the water. The bitten researcher and those who helped free him estimated that the length of the anaconda was around 7.5 meters. And based on the bite scars, it was possible to measure the size of the jaw and confirm that the snake was much larger than any other recorded. Despite the known and exaggerated stories told in the region, the largest females typically do not exceed 5.5 meters in length. Ecuadorian snakes do not seem to behave or look different, with markings almost identical to Brazilian ones. However, genetic samples show that they are not the same species, with a 5.5% difference in DNA between the two. And that's a lot, just to give you an idea, humans differ from chimpanzees by about 2%. Advancing in the investigations, it was possible to discover that the larger species can also be found in other nearby countries, such as Colombia and Venezuela, which determined the name of Northern Green Anaconda, while the smaller species should have its name changed to Southern Green Anaconda. Although they share part of their territories, the two species live in different river basins, following a geographical division that began 10 million years ago, and is reflected in species divisions among many other Amazonian animals. In conclusion, we can say that the research has uncovered another layer of the mystery surrounding the green anacondas, with significant implications for the conservation of these species. New personalized conservation strategies must be devised to safeguard the future of both species, including new legal protections and initiatives to protect the habitat. When species are not recognized, they can go unnoticed by conservation programs. By incorporating genetic taxonomy into conservation planning, we can better preserve the intricate web of life on Earth, both the species we know today and those yet to be discovered. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and see you in the next video.